Hello and welcome to your Actives EU Tweets of the Week. This week, transnational lists idea finally engages, EU struggles to agree oil ban in stages, and Russian disinfo goes full Middle Ages. This episode is supported by IPA Europe, the European voice of probiotics. More about them later on. On Tuesday, the European Parliament voted in favour of transnational lists for European elections. A big success for European democracy, said Green MEP Daniel Freund. Well, big in the bubble anyway. So can we vote for Zelensky as EU president, asked an over-enthusiastic Evelyn Omar Kufner. Tena Prelec said it was the best piece of news in a long time. Evelyn Heutebroeke described it as a giant leap forward for European democracy. And Martini Selsemeyer imagined the British tabloid headline, Now woke EU wants to force you to have trans MEPs. Alberto Alemano urges to spare a thought for Frank Biancheri, who has been advocating for this electoral form for more than 20 years, but unfortunately is no longer with us. But Alberto reckons he'd be disappointed by the limited number of pan-EU seats, just 28 on top of a massive 705. And just to pour more cold water on the enthusiasm, I have to remind you, it has to be approved by the council first. And we all know how that goes. This episode is supported by IPA Europe, the European voice of probiotics. Check out their latest in a series of webinars looking at consumer information and how to achieve a thriving probiotics industry in Europe. Follow IPA Europe online. This week, the appalling slaughter in Russia's invasion of Ukraine continued and Europe struggled with how to react. The European Commission wants a phased in, phased out ban on Russian oil. But Viktor Orban is threatening to veto the proposal despite a carve-out for Hungary and Slovakia in deference to their reliance on Russian oil and economic situation. However, the New York Times reported that the next round of sanctions will include Patriarch Kirill of Moscow. Look, I'm all for ending the bling factor, but it's not exactly oil, is it? The other war on disinformation isn't going much better. On Sunday, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov went on Italian TV to rattle off some ghastly Russian propaganda, claiming that Hitler was of Jewish origin, so UK President Zelensky must be a Nazi. The mind boggles. Italian PM Mario Draghi called the comments aberrant and disgusting. Of course, it's worth noting that the channel in question, Rita 4, is owned by MEP, former Italian Prime Minister and five times Bunga Bunga champion, Silvio Berlusconi. Cue le shoe. Lavrov goes on Italian TV, tells viewers that Berlusconi is youthful, very handsome, and the greatest lover he's ever met. But wait, you thought the whole Hitler was Jewish and Berlusconi is youthful were preposterous? Russian state media says, hold my beer. According to their latest report, signs of black magic were found in Ukrainian military headquarters. Just wow. Oh look, it's the 1600s, snark incandescent bee. Yeah. The 1600s just called. They want their atrocities back. That's it for another week in the Brussels Bubble Twitter sphere. Join me again next week where there will hopefully be more snarks and more larks and fewer jumping the sharks. <laughs>